seems that I cannot see. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. With a grateful heart, with a song of praise, with an outstretched arm. I want to talk to you, and what I want to tell you is that learn to count your blessing. Let's look at the book of Psalm 1, 2, 6, and then we look at Psalm 1, 2, 4, and Psalm 1, 2, 6. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side... Now may Life City International Worship Center repeat this with me. If it has not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick. When their wrath was kindled against us. The men here talks about the demons and forces of darkness that are ensuring that we are not happy, that we are not blessed, that we are not fulfilling our essence. Of being. Let's look at 1 to 6. Psalm 1 to 6. He said, When the Lord turned again, the captivity. Wow. What's your name here? The captivity of Emmanuel. We were like them. The dream. Then was our mouth filled with what? Laughter. And our tongue with singing. Hallelujah. Then say they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for them. The Lord had done great things for us. Whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the stream in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Hallelujah. Bless your word in Jesus' name. In life, what you focus on is what you get attracted to. In life, what you see is what you accept. In life, what you pursue is what you possess. In life, what you believe is what you eventually become. In life, how you reason determines the level you will rise to. If you keep on counting problems, you may never stop counting problems all your life. You know why? Problem has been before you were born. Problem will remain even when you die. Having too much money will not stop problem. As a matter of fact, the more money, the more problem. Honestly speaking, am I making sense? So don't think that you have problem because you don't have money. The truth is that if you have 100,000 naira problem, when problem comes, they don't come in 100,000. Problem will always be more than the solution. Am I talking to you? But look at how it is done. If you keep on looking at solution and you look, keep on being positive in your mindset, no matter how high the problem, it must bow down one day. You see, because the Bible says in the beginning, that means whatever has a beginning must have an end. Are you listening to me? I want you to focus on what God can do, not what he has not done. I want you to focus on what you can become, not what you are trying to be. You see, it is the future you have that determines the future you will eventually become. Listen to me. I want to address somebody today. People are still succeeding in Nigeria. Things are still getting better. People are still being employed. People are still getting promoted. Am I talking to you? People are building houses. It, it depends on your perception about life. That you did not eat today doesn't mean you will not eat tomorrow. Listen to me. The problem you are crying about when you meet somebody else and hear his own fashion, you will go and thank God. You didn't hear what I said. When you learn to celebrate God for the little, he is open to give you a bigger one. 
Hello? As a matter of fact, you are where you are because of your level of your thinking. Think big if you must become big. Talk big if you must become big. Listen to me. You cannot grow above the capacity of your mindset. I want to challenge you today. The devil that didn't create you cannot determine your life. He put a full stop, but God only put comma there. Because he is taking you through a process. Yesterday was bad news, but I come to you this morning with the good news. God says the Lord, he will turn again the captivity of your family, the captivity of your health, the captivity of your finances. Somebody stand up and shout, hallelujah. Don't let the devil keep you restless. You close your door, you close your eyes, but you're not sleeping. You are dancing, but your heart is not dancing. Beloved, the goal of the devil is to keep you sad. But from this morning, tell the devil, I will laugh all through my life. Are you getting what I am saying? If God gives you bread and you thank him, he will put butter next time. Did I talk to somebody? If God gives you rice and you thank him, next time he will put salad on top. Are you hearing me? If God gives you a butcher and you are grateful, next time he'll give you a bedroom flat. Are you hearing me? If God gives you a bedroom flat free and you are happy with him, next time he'll give you your own land. Did I talk to somebody this morning? If God gives you a bicycle and you say, God, thank you for bicycle, next time you'll drive a limousine. Did I talk to somebody this morning? From today, God has decided to keep you in a situation where you will only count blessing. Others will be saying there is a casting down. Your story will be said there is a lifting up. There is a lifting up. There is a lifting up. Those who are living by the economy of Nigeria and the world will crumble. But the Bible said, they that put their trust in the Lord shall be like Man Zion, which cannot be crumbled by dollar, which cannot be crumbled by world economy. Are you listening to me this morning? Start counting your blessing and you will ever count your blessing. It is going to be from glory to glory. It is going to be from testimony to testimony. It's going to be from victory to victory. The Bible says when the Lord turned it, they were surprised. There is a surprise for somebody this week. When the Lord turned it, when the Lord changed the story, when the Lord turned it, you know, you know can I have three people here? Can I have three people to stand here? Just three people face that way. Yes, the next person, the next person. God bless you. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you are to count from this direction, who is the first person? Is he not the first person? And he is so happy that he's the first person. And people are clapping that he's the first person. And, but the truth of the matter is that the person that determines who becomes the first has not come yet. In the eyes of men, this is the first. But in the eyes of God, it could be this, it could be this. He is the beginning and the last. So he decides who becomes what. Are you hearing me? That was the mystery of divine blessing. When Jacob was to bless his children. The blessing rather than going to the first went to the last. When Isaac was also to bless. Instead of the blessing to go to the first, he went to the last. God, God, God determines who gets the blessing. Are you hearing me? This morning there is a blessing in the house. But I don't know who will be the first. I can't decide but God is about to bless. Who is the first? Can you stand up and shout Hallelujah. And as I talk, this one may be saying, well, I'm not sure it will reach me because I'm in the middle. If they want to start, they will start from here. The other one say, I don't even have hope. Uh, when they start promotion, is it not the person that has been working for years? If they start promotion, is it not the people that have the qualification? God does not look at that qualification. He doesn't look at your background. He decides to show mercy on whom he wants to show mercy. Somebody will have mercy in the house this morning. In the name of Jesus. And suddenly... You know, the Holy Spirit is in the house this morning. He can come from any direction. Just be sensitive. The Bible says, a man has been at the pole of Bethsaida for 38 years, 38 years, 38 years of joblessness, 38 years of hopelessness, 38 years of financial frustration, 38 years, 38 years of hopelessness, rejection, 38 years of intimidation, 38 years of no schooling, no job, nothing, 38 years. And, and normally, if you want to enter Israel, there is a beautiful gate. That beautiful gate is called beautiful because big men pass through there. There is another gate behind the city. That is where the poor people enter. And so it is supposed that Jesus being a big man and a great man and a great master, a great rabbi whom the world recognizes. And so whenever he comes, he should come through the beautiful gate as a big man. He has no business coming from the 
the backside. And so everybody will always be waiting because from the big main gate, big men can dash your money, can help you. That was why a man sat at the beautiful gate begging because that is where big men pass. Nobody wants to look for something and go to where poor people is because they can't offer you anything. Poor people cannot change poor people. You, if you need to be rich, you go to people who are rich. Are you listening to me? So everybody position at the beautiful gate because that is where solution will come in the eyes of men. But one day, the owner of the universe saw that there is a man who had been at the last. At the pool of Bethesda, they were all sitting beside or just beside the pool. And, and then the first person that entered gets the miracle. And so this man, because he had been there for 38 years, over time people have been shifting and been shifting. And his case was so hopeless that he can't even shift again. His butters has been gone to the ground. He can't move. People who brought him there have abandoned him. He can't come be saying, come back. 38 years is not 38 days old. We're not talking of 38 months. He had been there. He had become a source of mockery. And there's no way, no hope. And then even if he should, is he going to fly? No way. Now, because the crowd is here, waiting for an angel that was just a messenger. The one who is bigger than the messenger came through the back door and followed the back door. Now, turn this way. Turn, all of you turn. Who is now the first? Who is now the first? Who is now the first? I decree over your life today. Your captivity is over. The Lord told us last Sunday. He said your toiling is over. I claim that message. It is for me. Your toiling is over. You will not toil forever. You will not suffer forever. Your toiling is over. Life city, your toiling is over. Your toiling is over. May the Lord bless his word in Jesus name.